special in his own way. Montgomery's the leader and he's such a good sport. But get along, gang, get along, gang. There's Wooma and Dottie with the spirit. Bingo, the pranks who doesn't ruin it. Logical Porsche will figure it out. And that's the step of the lead machine. Get up with the get along. see you kids are off to Pine Ridge. Yes, sir! Little Dwayne, my nephew, is there right now. Little Dwayne? He's visiting Green Meadow, but doesn't know any kids. Maybe you could play with him. More like babysit. Great, more chores. That would be fun, Officer Growler. Oh, no! Great. And I'll treat you all to hot chocolate at Hoofnagle's when you get back. Oh, yes! Makes 900 times in a row. The kids still got it. Well, I wonder where Officer Growler's nephew is. Probably on the baby slopes. Yeah. Now, Bingo Zipper, we haven't even met Dwayne yet. He might even be very good. Ha! <laughs> My name's Dwayne, but you can call me Duke. It was great! Can you show me how to do that? What a flip! Big deal. Whee! Here we go! You want to ride my snow dish? No, but I'll race you to the bottom. Where is that guy? Right here, hot shot. Thanks a lot, Duke. Avalanche! 
Just a little something I whipped up. Hey, everybody! Let's catch snowflakes! Pretty good, Zipper. You try it, Duke. You missed one. Great catch! Wow, you got every one. Hey, Zipper, this snowball's got your name on it. Take your best shot, Duke. Wow! Hey, nice catch, Zipper. That was nothing. Watch this! Nice throw, Zipper. Wow! What a shot! Hey, Duke, try and beat that. Well, it was okay, but... Well, Duke, show us what you got. Okay, if you insist. Hooray! What a hero. Three cheers for Duke. What a champ. Not bad. Hoofnagels and hot chocolate, here we come. Uh, why don't you guys go ahead? Zipper and I are gonna stay here a little longer. Okay, but it's starting to get dark. We won't take long. Now that everybody's gone, we can do some real tobogganing. It looks a little dangerous. They don't call it the screamer for nothing. If you want to back out, I'll understand. No. Okay, here we go. Some scary ride. Kid stuff. Ready to head for hoof niggles? Yeah, we need to go this way. Are you sure? I know where I'm going. They should be here by now. Hello, gang. Hi, Officer Growler. We had a great time with Duke. Oh, that's good. Where is the little guy? He and Zipper are still at Pine Ridge. Probably in a big fight trying to see who's best. Yeah, it's getting pretty late. Maybe we should form a search party. Well, sure, Officer Growler. We're right behind you. But I'm sure there's no problem. It seems like we've been walking a long time. We're, uh, taking a shortcut. Okay, um, we, we crossed this lake, and Green Meadow has got to be just over that hill. The ice looks pretty thin. I can handle it. Are you sure this is safe? Look, if you're scared, you can always stay here and freeze. Come on, Zipper, just follow me. Hey, help! Hang on, dude! I can't reach! Sure you can! You can that was a close one. Thanks, Zipper. Are you okay, buddy? Now I am. Let's look over here. Zipper! Duke! Can you hear us? Duke! Zipper! Hey, everybody! Come here! Fresh tracks! You don't suppose they held a challenge race down the Screamer, do you? I just hope they're okay. Uh, Zipper, my feet are freezing. B me too. Duke, I think we're lost. I'd give anything to get out of the cold. W wait a minute. We can get out of the cold. I feel warmer already. Duke. I'm sorry about always trying to beat you. Shake? You don't have to apologize, Zipper. I kind of like the way you grit your teeth and try real hard. Hey, everybody! What's that? Looks like an igloo. Zipper must have made it. 
I'll bet they're inside and really fighting. We're safe! And it was Zipper's idea to build the igloo. I owe it all to you, Montgomery. Sorry I said yours was dumb. Tell us all about the Screamer. Well, first we shot down from the top about 100 miles an hour. Whoosh! Then we whipped around a corner at 200 miles an hour. Vroom! Then we both looked at each other and we went, Ah! <laughs> I want to thank you all for playing with my nephew. It was fun. Can I come back to Green Meadow, Uncle? Now that you have friends to visit, anytime. Put it there, pal. You got him, Zipper! Come on, Duke! How exciting! Go, Zipper! Oh, I can't watch. Here we go again. Boy, Portia looks really upset. I wonder what she's trying so hard to raise money for. Let's go find out. Hi, Portia. How you doing? Well, what are you trying to raise money for anyway? I'm going to buy my parents an anniversary gift. That's really nice of you. And I may have something that'll help. I helped my grandmother bake these cookies from a special recipe. Here, try one. These are the greatest. They're all yours. You can sell them along with your lemonade. Thanks! These will sell like crazy with my lemonade. Hey, Portia, let me try a glass of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just sell the cookies. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I keep telling you there are no more. Are you sure there are no more cookies back there? Sorry, but if you'll come back tomorrow... I will, I will, and I'll buy all the cookies you can make. I sure hope Daddy will make some more cookies. Portia's cleaning up with those cookies. I think we better check into this thing. Maybe we can get into this business on the ground floor. It was amazing. I sold every single cookie, and the people still wanted more. How much money did you make? Three dollars and eighty-six cents. That's a fortune! Where'd you get it, Portia, old pal? Daddy gave me some cookies to sell. Now if she'll only make one more little batch, I'll have enough money for my parents' anniversary gift. A little batch? Stop thinking small. Why not a great big batch? So we can all get rich. But I just need enough money. Hey, yeah! I could get a new set of weights. I could buy that pretty summer dress in the department store window. <laughs> now, if we're gonna do this, let's do it right. We need to organize. So it comes down to the simple fact, the more we sell, the more money we make. Forget the graphs and all that other stuff. Why don't we just put all our money together and make the biggest batch of cookies we can? That's what I was saying. Great, and let's take a vote. All in favor? What's the matter? Well, I'm just worried that something will happen and I won't be able to get the gift. You'll double your money. You can buy your folks an even better anniversary gift. Come on, Portia. It all depends on you. <laughs> now remember, you got to get off at the same time or... Oh. <laughs> Or the barrel will fall. Right, Leland? I'm sorry. Are you hurt? Is there anything I can do? Forget it. I'm more interested in the cookie business right now. Yeah, me too. You think if we ask real nicely, they'll let us in on it? No. But I think if we act real sneaky, we'll end up with the whole thing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You got a cookie recipe from your grandmother that's gonna make you rich. You mean the cookie company. I won't be rich. We're all sharing the profits equally. Well, if it was my grandmother's recipe, I'd sure expect to make the most money. 
Gee, I didn't think of it that way. Hey, give that cookie cutter back. We need it. What do you care? Being the star salesman of that cookie company, you'll be able to buy hundreds of these. Anyway, so I told Ketchum you're the leader, and you'll get most of the money. Everyone in the gang gets the same amount. It's only fair. <sighs> Gee, I thought the president of a company always made the most money. Remember, kids, you can use the oven to bake the cookies, but be careful, and please don't make a mess. Bingo, would you hand me some more flour? Ask someone else, Montgomery. I'm busy. Listen, who's in charge around here anyway? This is my grandmother's recipe. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the guy that'll sell the most. Ow! <laughs> Pretty funny, huh, Bingo? Can we just start baking the cookies? Yeah, will you guys stop acting so childish? I know something was gonna go wrong. Stop! Look at the mess you've made. Does someone want to tell me what caused this? Fine, be stubborn. Just bake your cookies and clean up this mess. But I'm the president of the company. Yeah, and without my grandmother's recipe, you'd be president of nothing. You're all forgetting who the super salesman is. We're yeah. trying to. Absolutely, Zipper. <laughs> Go right ahead. Well, I'm not working for any company where I'm not appreciated. <laughs> goes double for me. Well, a lot of thanks I get for organizing this whole thing. Hey, why don't we just forget the whole thing? That's fine with me. Yeah, yeah fine, fine, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> It worked! It worked! Catch him, you're a genius! Leland, when you're right, you're right. Mmm, you sure smell good. Think I'll grab a few for myself. Stop eating the profits! Let's get moving, we got a fortune to make. some cookies, even if no one else will help. I don't understand. I know the gang brought the cookies. <gasps> oh, no! So I saw them running away with the cookies, and I came looking for you guys. Boy, were we ever dumb. They played us against each other, and we fell for it. <laughs> What's so funny, Montgomery? I just thought of a way to make Ketchum and Leland want to give the cookies back. What do you have in the sack, boys? Uh, uh, we... Uh, we're just collecting clothing for the needy, Officer Growler. I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you might be selling cookies. Nope, not us. We don't even like cookies. Right, Leland? Yeah! Somebody's been selling bad cookies all over town. When I find them, I'm going to stick them in jail and throw away the key. Well, I'll see you boys later. Boy, that was close. We better get rid of those cookies quick. And I know just where to dump them. But first, I gotta make a phone call. When Officer Growler shows up and finds the cookies here, those kids are gonna be in big trouble. That's it. Gee, I hope someday I'm as smart as you. Just get rid of the sack. Come on, we'll figure out a plan. Uh-oh, we better get out of here. Hi, Catchem. How you doing, Leland? Hey, we didn't hear you guys come in. We just stopped by to visit. Then why were you climbing out the window? Uh, 
We didn't want to wear out your door. That makes sense. Hi, kids. Hi, Officer Growler. I'm looking for a batch of bad cookies and the kids who are selling them. I got a phone call telling me to look out here. Gee, we don't have any cookies. We used to, but they disappeared. I knew you kids wouldn't be involved. Well, I better get going. You know, you look kind of tired. Yeah, why don't you sit down and rest for a while? That's very nice of you boys. I thought you said there were no cookies here. We're as surprised as you are, Officer Growler. I'm really surprised at you kids. <laughs> I guess they're in big trouble, huh, Officer Growler? Only if they don't sell me some. We've been had. These cookies are delicious. I'll take two dozen. No, come to think of it, you better make it three dozen or four. These are just the best cookies. This isn't all mine. Well, I guess we've decided that it should be. You're the only one who wanted the money for a good reason. To go buy your parents the greatest anniversary gift ever. You guys are the best friends in the whole world. The Get Along Gang, Get Along Gang Each one's so special in his own way Montgomery's the leader and he's such a good sport The Get Along